And we are live. Good evening, everybody. You'll be pleased to hear our puppy is wide awake this evening. She's here <laughs> somewhere, with us somewhere. Yeah, <laughs> somewhere, chewing on your chair, I think. But we hope you've all had a really good week. It's been a busy week in terms of announcements. Wow, actually. Oh, there's a lot of things been going on, hasn't there? Yeah, there has. So just trying to think. So since the last video that we did about announcements, that was when Spencer Remick and Nick Camby were announced. We've had Pa. Andre and oh who else was it? Oh god, <laughs> I, I can't keep track. Pa Andre and Nick can be you said, didn't you? Yeah, who else was it? Come on, help me out. <laughs> Someone else. <laughs> the mind's else. gone blank. Yeah, but of course Shane out. Yes. So yeah, yes. it's um it's been turbulent. Like you think we get somewhere and then something else happens. So it's been a lot going on. We're only two weeks out now. Wow, less than two weeks. Yeah, because... the athletes will fly out next Saturday. Yeah, most of them. the final is two weeks today. So wow. very getting exciting. Close. Getting it, close. It is getting close. We're a bit frazzled today. We had a very late night watching King of the Table, which went on to Not King of the Table, East oh, versus sorry, West. Sorry, East versus <laughs> East versus East West, versus aren't West. I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that went on far too long, didn't it? <laughs> it was it was fun. Like the, I only watched the last match. You only watched the last match. Yeah. I watched every single man so if you want arm wrestling you can ask some questions on that otherwise i'm not going to talk too much about it but no, it was please brilliant. Don't. and there was like a three-hour press conference the night before as well my goodness <laughs> that press conference was as long as a giant's live show <laughs> anyway wow. who is in the chat with us today julia thank you so much for becoming a member hello oh, we've got erebus here bron shots in the house hip flipping mama i'm pretty sure i've seen yet yeah, there's cousin fred is here as well I think Papa's is about to join us. Hi, Sarah. We hope you're well. Fred, thank, thank you me. very much for gifting memberships. New members, do check out the perks afterwards. Oh, here oh. she is. And here's Come the baby. <laughs> Pick her up. There she is. She's getting very big. She's getting very big. She had her first puppy class on um, yesterday, wasn't it? She, yesterday. And you're doing very, very well, she said. Yes. She's, she's a becoming big. a strongman fan and an arm wrestling fan. She's not an arm wrestling fan, she told me. <laughs> she sat with me and watched some of it. <laughs> she, I bet she was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, bless her. Who have we got? First time being um, on time for Strongman Sunday. Well, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Come on, yeah. Monica talking about her wedding to Magnus in just a couple of months. Lozzy, I hope you've got your uh, top hat ready. Fred, of course. thank you so much for the super chat. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Oh, hope all is going well. It sucks about Shane. And I might just make the Vegas show. Excellent, uh, cousin Fred. You should definitely get to Vegas. That's gonna yeah, be epic. it will be epic. But yeah, such a shame about um, Shane Flowers. Like yeah. When I found out, I was like, no, not Shane. Because he's had horrible luck at Worlds. Like The year before last was his first year there. Got injured almost immediately, didn't he? It was quite a nasty injury Sorry, as well. someone is trying to take my slipper from me. Yeah, so I'll take the slipper. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> she's gone she's got it she's happy and then last year um he didn't make the cut he wasn't invited he was i think the highest placing athlete out of those who hadn't been invited so far but he was passed over last year this year he qualified by placing top three at giants live show and now Shane, shane's done really well the last sort of few shows he's done he's been consistently on the podium in international shows he's really matured as an athlete he's doing very well uh, very unlucky to to have this happen, obviously. And you know, we we, we really like Shane. Wish him the absolute best. Mm. He's he'll come back from this. He will. Know. I was excited for him and Kane to get to do it together as well. Like they're really good friends. She she's, she's got lots of slipper on her head. <laughs> good morning from Tasmania, Australia. Oh, how lovely. Hope you're waking up to a nice Australia's day. strongest man this weekend. Yes, it was. Who won in the end? I uh, Jordan. Knew the Jordan oh, Osborne okay. and um, Nicola Nicole um, Genrich won yeah. the um, women's. She she's phenomenal. She's she, she's so one of the top good. strength athletes on the on the planet. And um, yeah, Jordan. We've seen Jordan a couple of times. Uh, so congratulations to both of them. We'd love to see um, Nicole invited to like the Rogue Invitational or something like that, or the Arnold. She's definitely good enough. She's oh, really, really good. Was she third at World's Strongest Woman? Yeah, she was on the podium, yeah. Uh, we met her last year, and it was the uh, first competition back after having her baby. Her yeah. baby was only really young at the yes, time as well. Yeah. Really cute boy. Bless her. Uh, Luke's best chance at a World's Strongest Man podium. Same for Evan. Yeah, I agree. I think... Um, I think Evan is a, a very dangerous threat for the podium. I think 
as long as he can kind of maintain that composure. We, we know with Evan, sometimes he's his own biggest enemy, but he's got good events in this year's World's Strongest mm. Man, and he's looking in shape, but I think he's definitely a threat for the podium. Matt Rag also, I would put right up there. Yeah, second. like, you know, I'm, I'm pretty brutal. I, I kind of say what I think. Um, I don't think Luke will make the podium. He's got a chance. I think the events in the heats are good for Luke. I don't think the events in the final are quite as good for Luke. But with certain names missing, maybe he has a chance. I, I, I feel the top four at World's Strongest Man this year, I, I think for most people, you're probably looking at, at um, Tom Stoltman and Mitch Hooper as the favourites. And then I think the, the real question mark actually is Trey Mitchell. Yes, I, I think Trey is that. the unknown because he's a phenomenal athlete coming back from uh, a, quite a, a tough injury to come back from. However, he's looking in great shape in the gym. Does that gym kind of gym uh, strength that's kind of showing at the moment transitioning to being effective in a competition? Shut what are you it. doing? Come. Um, Come. I think Matt Rag and uh, Evan personally. That's my oh, kind of pick for for the battle for for the podium. That, that. But strong man, anything can happen. Michael Scott, thank you for the super chat. Got another podium for Team Michael Mars. did amazing this weekend, placed third in his competition and absolutely smashed it. So well done, buddy. Very, very proud of you. And um, thank you very much for the super chat. So he said, thank you, coach, for getting me so prepared. And I'm just getting started. He Dad is indeed. Bob strong as Just showing as well, like, you know, Michael started much, much later in life in terms of doing strongman. And he's keen. He's working hard. Sorry, Holly. So lose something. Um, and making progress. And that's what we want. We want to see people making progress and showing that you can do this stuff at any age. Mm. And for Team Liz fans, um, Rauno Hainler has something very exciting in the works. You kind of have to be a Rauno fan also. But um, he showed me a design he's been working on <laughs> that hopefully I'll have in my hands, on my body, in time for our World's Strongest Man live feeds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just had a sneak peek of that you sent me. Yes, and you were impressed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's an autocorrect. At this point, Liz will have to step in as a competitor. <laughs> Probably Loz. <laughs> 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 I'd rate almost anyone's chances over mine. <laughs> Kind of crazy that World's Strongest Man haven't announced Shane's replacement yet, although given how it's been so far this year, not surprising. Not good for the athletes, so with the late invites, etc. I think one of the difficult phases or difficult difficult things at this stage is they can't really announce until everything is official. So you have to, to, to do World's Strongest Man, you need to get medicals done. You need to, to go through kind of... Quite a work few, visa. You, yeah, you need to go through quite a few loops just yeah. to kind of, you know, make it happen. So I think they've they've asked athletes. It's then the confirmation of can they get the time off work? Can they, they get there? All the stuff. Et, et cetera, et cetera. So mm -hmm. I'm sure we will see some announcements very, very soon. Yeah. Um, it was Kevin Ferris that we forgot. Yes. It was Kevin, Kevin. yes. Sorry. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> Are we, are we allowed to talk arm wrestling? No, Jason. <laughs> yes, we are. Yes, if you guys want to talk arm wrestling, we can. I just will keep it to a minimum unless there is interest. Oh, dear. Good morning from us. Finally up early enough to catch a live. Good morning, Australia. Um, where are we? Hedgehog, thank you so much for gifting a membership. What's going on with Strongman Archives? Um, their server's down. Is it down, is it? Uh, yeah, it is. It will come back up. This does happen sometimes, but... Um, Eloa and Bill, who run the site, will be on the case. They know this; they're coming into a very important time of the year. So um, I'm sure maybe they're even upgrading it. I don't know. I forgot to ask and check. But yeah, it will be back. Don't worry. It's not gone for good. Puppy. Everyone's excited to see the puppy. Andre is in the house. Going to be doing a Talking Strongman with Andre yes. this week. We've got yes. two Talking Strongman coming up this week. And one of them yes. is with Mr. Foytu, who is doing exceptionally well. Yes, very excited to see him compete at his first World's Strongest Man. She's gotten so big. She has. Mm -hmm. um, oh, Toby, <laughs> with the members comment. Can't believe it's nearly Worlds again already. I know, it comes around so quick. I mean, the first one that we covered properly was 2020, wasn't it? Yes. Two, one, two, three, 24. Yeah, so this is our fifth year of doing this. Spreadsheeting with you guys and... <laughs> It's okay. bad that we're still at this stage. It's really bad that we're still doing like, this. <laughs> you know, we're hardcore strongman fans. We will always support strongman. Yeah. 
but I think we at least deserve like a live stream or I something know. to watch along to. I know. What's she biting now? No, Everything. no don't bite. Deary me, where are we? <laughs> Lifting puppy progressive overload. It really is. Yeah, she's getting heavy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bless her. Oh. Um, <laughs> where are we? Right. Let's uh, read this from Al Prescott. Thank you very much for the super chat. Who would you put money on doing a muscle up in their weight prime? Sure, Big Z, Thor, or Eddie? Do you know what? I think they'd all be useless. <laughs> I don't think any of them could have done it. I think they could do it, but it, it would be difficult. They're all huge men. And Does it require a lot of shoulder mobility? Not so much shoulder mobility, just it's, it's a body weight movement. Yeah. So it's just difficult the bigger that you are. I would imagine all of them could train to do it. Um, but obviously being that big, it's just not as a uh, effective movement to do. Um, not as safe to do as well. Like there's certain movements as a, as a coach, I don't get my, my heavier athletes to do one of which is things like, um, box jumps. I wouldn't get a lot of my super heavyweight athletes doing box jumps because the risk versus reward is not worth it. Um, whereas an 80 kilo athlete, it's a, a very, very effective movement to do. So you sometimes just have to look at this. What is it today? Here you go. Sit. She can see the treat on the table. Sit. <laughs> sit. Sit. Good girl. She did a sit. There we go. So, yeah, sometimes with athletes, you've got to, you've got to, you've got to be selective about the movements that you do to, to, to produce the, the reward that you want at the end of the day. And, um, you know, a muscle up is just a movement that's just not needed as a strong man. So it would be detrimental to their progress. But always fun to watch big guys do stuff like that. <laughs> um, yeah, so for those who don't know what happened with Shane, he tore his bicep, unfortunately, um, during a axle clean. It was like, it was quite a clean tear, wasn't it? It was the tendon. Only so, his yeah. tendon straight off the bone. He's um, already booked him for surgery, I believe. Yes. Um, Kane. Kane took him up. Yeah. He took the day off um, his prep for Worlds so. and... Um, yeah. Yeah, ate his sandwich. Yes, ate his hospital sandwich. <laughs> but yeah, obviously it's, it, it sucks that they're not going to get to go to Worlds together. Um, they were looking forward to it, but Shane just needs to focus on recovery, and, and he'll be back. Um, 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 oh my goodness, my plant's moving. <laughs> oh dear. Did you not tire her out this afternoon? I tired her out. I did. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, just a plant going across the room. It's like a big plant as well. Hold on, sorry, I have to move this. <laughs> Lungu, hello, buddy. Hope you're well. Matty Bryan, who is your world's strongest man podium? If you are gonna put me on the, you know, if we're gonna get really go for who I think will win uh, or podium. If I was to put money on it, I would say Mitch Hooper first, Tom Stolten second. Third is really tough. I think Matt Rag and Evan Singleton both have a great chance. I am going to go with Evan Singleton. So, Mitch, Tom, Evan Singleton, that is my podium for World's Strongest Man. Do you have a podium for Worlds? Uh, probably the same, but I don't know. I'm going to go just to be different from you with Matt Rag in third. Uh, Christine, are we doing the athlete bios that we normally do? We're not going to do individual bios for every single athlete just because it takes so much time and it just, honestly, it's just not worth the, the effort. Um, <laughs> however, we are going to do a couple of videos time. on grouping athletes. So we might yeah. do a video on all the American athletes, a video on all the British athletes, European athletes, rest of the world, something yeah, like that. We'll I think, uh, see how it balances I, because the American one's going to be massive. Um, might do it like... First time. I don't know. I don't know. We need to find a way we'll to categorize we'll people, it out. but we are going to... We're going to have lots of videos leading up to Worlds. We're yeah. just not going to do individual ones for every single athlete. No, honestly, it's so time consuming and the lineup keeps changing. Toby <laughs> is in the house. The champ is in the house. Toby well, absolutely smashing his competition today. Well done, buddy. He did super well. Actually, three of my athletes competed in that. Two of them were on the podium. Oh, really so, nice. Yeah. There you go. Lovely. Very, very good day for Team Loss. There we go. The world's strongest man Instagram account seems a week finally. Yes, yes, we're getting more information out now, so that's good. But, they um, used us, didn't they? In one of their they did. Wow, well, they used you. I was cut out of that. Yeah, rightly so. <laughs> <Which> yeah. I... <laughs> rightly so. I really don't mind. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Um, where are we? Matt Rag for sure. 
Where are we? <laughs> I see that. Oh, you know, when you're like looking and people are having a conversation amongst themselves. If Bodby makes the final, he could contend for a podium spot. He just needs to I, win his group. I, I agree. The, the, the big problem for Bobby, and I'm saying this is his coach, is the stone off. If Bobby ends up in a stone off, we're not in a confident position. He's working hard at it. It's just unfortunately he, he's torn his biceps. Um, their big weakness in terms of not recently, stones. Which point yeah, not recently. <laughs> um, but the just stones are just not his naturally best event. We, we've worked with them; they're getting better. Um, but the progress is slower than than maybe we would like. Um, but Bobby has some great events. Like he's got some big things coming up this year. You know, Bobby is doing the deadlift world championships, where we're going to be aiming for him to break the American record. Um, he's got a lot of good one day shows lined up for him. He, he'll go to worlds, and, and Bobby's a a warrior he tries all the time yeah. he he needs a good group that he can win that's mm. or get lucky on a stone off you know it's it, it's a difficult i i hate the fact that it's always the stone off because it's always going to favor the best stone lifter um rather than say the best strong man in that group um because you could be in a second position by a fair few points and still lose out to the third guy so it is what it is it's it's the way it is you know the, once the rules are set all the athletes know it you've got to prepare for it as well as you can and that's what we've done um but yeah ideally bobby wins his group because that would be <laughs> a much it's probably the, the reality is if he wants to get to the final that's the most likely way yeah. he will make the final yeah uh, Rachel asking here if we know the reserves or the Welsh Strongest Man shirt colours. So reserves has been a evolving list because of people pulling out and then people being moved from the reserve list <laughs> into the competition. Um, within, I would expect within that this time next week, we should have the full thirty lineup and the reserves and hopefully the shirt colours as well. Once we, saw a tease, once we the know the exact lineup, we'll put a video out. Yeah, but um, yeah, at the moment we don't. I, I do have an idea. I don't want to say in case it changes. We can't say anyway because. Um, but what well, we could, we're not. Well, we're not we're bound, not... no. But also, like the, the, the only thing is, I don't want to say something and then it get changed. <laughs> exactly. Um, and the likelihood is, right now, it might get changed. Yeah. yeah. So until World Strongest Man announce, um, we'll, we'll keep quiet till next week. Uh, but the likelihood is, is we are going to see a couple more changes, aren't we? Yeah. Um, Anthony, thank you for the super chat. With all of the injuries that have happened recently, do you think we have reached a point where weight may have surpassed um, ability? I'm not sure what I was supposed to say there. I think there's always been injuries in strongman. Um, there's a lot of competitions right now and high level competitions. And I think athletes are pushing to extremes. Uh, I've even had words with some of my own athletes about pulling back. Um, no, Mitch, it was two thirty off the blocks. I, 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 I genuinely wasn't happy about that. No, because we'd had a chat previous to that, yeah. and you know, you're you're in a position where the risk for me wasn't worth the reward. Mm. Um, he said, "Now he's listening. He's he's, he's not going to do boy. anything stupid. <laughs> you know, save it for when you need it." That's my philosophy. As you get this close to a competition, you're not going to get any stronger by doing it. You could actually fatigue yourself take out your you can damage your central nervous system so you don't recover quick enough um lots of factors as well and, and strongman is not olympic lifting you know an axle is not the same as, a, as an olympic lift um so there's a lot of factors in there uh, but mitch the reality is he's in great shape he's looked really good for pretty much most part of all his training this year consistently getting better um you know uh, obviously communicating with evans nana was on the phone to him the other day and it's like right we get to the comp now. Yeah. Let's be safe, not do anything stupid. You cannot really physically change your ability in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. What you can do is come in fresh and recovered, and you can work on technical ability. So you can focus on technique, you can focus on tactics, and you can focus on recovery. Those are the, the main key points as a coach that you're going to portray to your athletes. Athletes, if, if athletes are going for ridiculously big lifts this week, you are taking a massive risk at not ending up at World's Strongest Man. Because whether you go and, you know, you go and lift a PB this week, who cares? The reality is it doesn't matter. What matters is what you do at World's Strongest Man. So just be smart with um, your training for the next few weeks, guys. She's got something small sounding. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs> Have you got it? Uh, no. What is that? What is that? <laughs> Where is 
Someone says, please tell me Holly is named after the computer on Red Dwarf. Okay. Did you ever used to watch Red Dwarf? No, I Did you didn't. not? No. I used to like Red Dwarf. Yeah. I'm sure there's American people kind of, what the hell is Red Dwarf right now? But... Might be some young British people. I know what it is, but um, never watched it. Yeah. Honestly, Anthony, honest. thank you. Absolute state of this <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. Have we had this one? Yeah, that's the one that. Um, Did I? Yeah. Yeah. With all the recent injuries that yeah, have happened you've recently. You the wrong way, have you? No, no, no. I've been scrolling down. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you do the same one twice? I don't know. Maybe um, it just jumped. Oh no! Did you do it twice? Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Oh, exceeded physical Anthony. ability. There you go. I think he corrected his time. Yeah. Oh, bless you. <laughs> we got well, the gist of it. <laughs> hopefully, you heard my last answer. Um, oh, there you go. Strongman Archives is back up. Important announcement. There we go. There we thank go. Thank you, Damien. Lovely. But yeah, um, you know, like I said earlier, th there's always been injuries in Strongman. I think there's certain events that we need to be smart with. And I think athletes need to be smart as well. Training for a one day show, for instance, is different to training for World Strongest Man, which is a multiple day competition. Um, and like I said, one of the most important things is getting to the competition. Oh, what's she got? It's really annoying me because she, I can hear that she's got something. Go on. You concentrate on that. I'll wrestle the dog. Give me that. Um, yeah, Lucas Hatton turned down his invite to World's Strongest Man. He was invited. A number of other athletes were invited as well. It is a video we're going to do. Um, Lucas is at, where is he? Rainer Classic. The Rainer Classic. He, he's involved in, in running, well, it. running it as yeah. well. Um, and he owns a gym as well. And it's just too short a notice for him to prepare properly, get people to run the gym, get people to kind of do the competition. So You're he decided hungry. to turn it down, which I, I totally understand. She's, she's mad now. She's angry with you. She's mad because I took her little pebble. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, the Lord of Blasphemy. Thank you very much for the super chat. Hey guys, who would you put in your list of strong men for the strongest, the fastest, the most dynamic, the funniest, and the greatest all round? Cheers, Ooh. Holly. Why are you crazy tonight? <laughs> so for the strongest, I would put can can we only put people in one of these categories? Let's do it that way because it okay. makes it more interesting. I would put Eddie and Zadrunas. And Bill in the strongest. I thought you just put in one. No, sorry. I meant like we won't then put Eddie, Zadrinus, and Bill in any of the other categories. Right. Yeah. I thought you were just going to put one. No. Because three, you can't have three of the strongest. That's yeah. three of the strongest. Who would you put in the list of strongest? Who would be your strongest? Oh, the strongest. Yeah. Mine would be Zadrinus. Yeah. But yeah. Eddie would be the best deadlifter, but I think in terms of all round static strength, in his prime, Zadrunas. Zadrunas would be okay. my choice. Fastest, I'd probably put Mitch. Yeah, I'd agree with that. The most dynamic, maybe Mateusz. Um, The funniest, the funniest strongman ever. Eddie is pretty funny. Eddie is funny. Who's funny? I, I don't know. There's lots of like There's lots of good characters. Lots of them are funny. Yeah. We'll come back to that one. The greatest all round. The greatest all round for one year, 2018. 18, Thor. Is Thor. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Brian should be in this. Brian, list Brian, one of the greatest of all time for sure. But Brian wasn't like the strongest, in my opinion. Like he was a better all round athlete than just statically the strongest yeah 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 brian just did not have a weakness anywhere did no. he he could throw he could do this yeah. he could do this he could load yeah um oh the funniest do you find any of them funny i find <laughs> loads of them funny but for different like the yeah. people i find for i find ivor's really funny he is funny but yeah you know he's not renowned seeing for people being backstage is different to yeah. what they can well, portray Rongo's really funny as well this, you know there's, yeah. there's lots of um funny strong men to be honest a lot of them have a really good sense of humor shane and kane together are really funny yeah. there's, there's yeah. a lot of good characters yeah there is doesn't always get portrayed on tv no, when you kind of meet them cut, and you yeah. see them backstage it's very different yeah um, which one? This one? Yes. Uh, how crazy was round one of Devon versus Levan? I really wanted Devon to win, but just watching him stop Levan in the first round was incredible and seemed to surprise everyone. I think it did surprise a lot of people. And I think what really surprised people was um, Levan's ability to go somewhere different. And I, I actually think that's the reason that um, Devon just 
you know, had nothing left after that. Well, once uh, Levin just got in with that press, he completely stretched out um, Devon's arm. They've got such similar names. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and I think it just took too much out of him. But you can see, like, I watched a couple of the interviews afterwards. And, you know, Devon has so much respect for Levin. I think Devon has done absolutely everything to bring the best version of himself he could. Every arm wrestler says how strong he is right now. And, and Levin himself said, like, his pronation was just ridiculous. You all right? Yeah. Well, Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I'm, no, 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 no. But Carry yeah, on. that first round when he kind of stopped him, I think everyone was like, whoa, we've got a match. We've got a match. But it just shows that Levin is not just a big, strong dude. He is a very, very good arm wrestler. I think sometimes people don't give him the respect as an arm wrestler. Yes, he's stupidly strong and strong in every area. Some of the arm wrestlers are very good at one thing. He's clearly, you know, he's, he's an amazing top roller, but he's clearly good at other movements as well and, and just superior strength in, in every department. Um, what year, beside World Strongest Man 2020, did they have the purple shirt? Like this is 2014, wearing. this one. So this was when athletes had individual colours in their group. So this wasn't like a whole colour theme. This was yours. This is like top, my lucky it? top. I like this top. Yeah, 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 I was there. You were there. I you made the there. final that year? Yes, yeah. There you go. I miss that when each athlete had a different top. It's easier to spot what's going on. It was on. good, but you'd always get one athlete with the rubbish colour. Yeah, there someone like always got like a like peach or poo something. Poo colour or something yeah, like that. Probably, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> poo colour. Um, where are we? If World's Strongest Man doesn't do a stream of some kind, there will be many other streams we riot! there watching <laughs> on the big screen. Do you know what? They've there's a whole team ready to take down any channel that tries to pirate their stream. Um, I was warned about that. <laughs> like, I would ever do that. I was like, what are you talking we about? Do that. And they were like, no, no, we know that you wouldn't. But just so you know, if anyone tries to pirate our stream, that channel is coming down immediately. So um, anyone who's thinking about it, be warned. Like, obviously, if you're doing it on a throwaway account, <laughs> you might not care. But, um, yeah, just be warned. Uh, oh, Loz, obviously you don't have to give names, but were there any strong men in your career that you didn't get on with? Yes. <laughs> Not many, though, if I'm honest. Um, I think in any walk of life, there's going to be people you don't get on with. But for the most part, I really like almost all the strong men. There is a few that I haven't got on with, and that's fine. But for the most part, it's a really friendly sport. And, you know, I'd say 99% of the guys I've met in the sport are awesome. Mm. Um, Michelle asking what we thought of the record breakers in Derry Island. We're going to have the strong menus um, that we're going to cover quite a Some lot. Some immense there, lifting going on, particularly yeah. by the women. Yeah, really impressed. Summer Johnson doing 300 kilos yeah. at under 82 kilos. Um, Claire Myler. Claire Myler yeah. at over, like, I over hate 50. saying over no, 50. Over 50, she is yeah, though. But she's just incredible. She is, like, yeah. I, I love Claire. I'm a big fan of Claire. I think yeah. she's awesome. And um, yeah, both both of those super impressive. Some amazing other lifts going on as well. Um, so yeah, we've got that coming in our news video, which will go out early next week. Mm -hmm. Holly just wants to be part of the live. She does. She's just been so spoiled today. We took her to um, anyone who's local will know Lydiard Park. It's really nice. It's a nice country park with a big house. And we took the kids to do this high ropes thing that they have there. And obviously Holly came along and because she's a puppy and she's cute, she just gets stopped, doesn't she? Like so many people want to pet her and she loves it. And she's just um, had a maybe overstimulated day. <laughs> what? What is it? What is it? <laughs> oh dear. I'd like to see Evan do well. Matt Rag is kind of underlooked. Glad you put him third slash fourth. I think the only thing, probably the only reason he's underlooked is a lot of people that don't <laughs> don't know of him that well because he's he's so new. Do you want to just check that she's okay? But he he's an amazing athlete. If you've been following him, I mean, he's just looking stronger and stronger every time that we see him. And I think one of the good things with Matt as well, he's not doing too many competitions. So he's giving himself that time to go and make pro, uh, make improvements and, and improve every every show that he does and peak for shows, which is quite important as well. It's very hard to beat your best all the time. We've said this with Mitch before. You know, with Mitch, we are focused on the Arnold and World's Strongest Man. He's got a lot of other competitions, same with last year. But you can't beat your best for every single one of those. 
So when you do have that luxury of I'm just going to do a few shows a year, you can come in shape, and you know he's managed to do that. Look who's here, Mr. Hooper himself. How you doing, buddy? Um, could make a potential groups videos. We can't until we've got the full lineup. <laughs> so there's one. We're now down to 29 athletes again. We're going to go down to 28 before we go back up to 30, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, until those two athlete announcements have come out, there's um. Oh my goodness, what's going on now? <laughs> Gosh, she's being such a monkey. Oh, what's she got? She kind of. <laughs> What is that? It's, oh. I don't know. Right. right. <laughs> Me and her, on a, we spend all day wondering what the other is eating. <laughs> Dang it. You. <laughs> right. What do you a question, Lars? A <laughs> bigger question. Oh, dear. She needs to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> she does need to calm down. Right. You just like shake her before I got home. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. Um, I think it all depends on the groups, but who are three athletes you think are most likely to make their first final? Oh, that's a first tricky final. question. I think we could see a number of, of people make their first final. I'll throw a name out there. Yeah. I think if he makes the stone off, I think Rano could make his first final. Okay. Um, I think there's a lot of people that, if they get to a stone off, have a chance of making the final. Like I, I would have had Shane in there on on yeah. stones if he that didn't get injured. Get injured yeah. um, I think Gav built. Gav's not done that well in the last couple of shows, but before that, he was really starting to show, you know, almost breaking into that top ten sort of territory. Mm. And I think from talking to him, from talking to his coach and stuff, physically he's still doing really well in training. And yeah. and stones is is normally a decent event for him. Um, I don't know. It's going to come down to groups, obviously. Massively. That will make a, a massive difference because you know you might be a new guy that's really good, but just be in a shitty group. Yeah. <laughs> and, or Stones might not be your best event and you're yeah, in the Stone off. Yeah. I think Andre Foytu is an amazing athlete, but so far Stones haven't been the best event for him. No. So, you know, I think it'd be difficult. I think someone that was really good at Stones has a... Has a much better overall yeah. chance, yeah. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Uh, all the Americans in Colorado training for World Strongest Man with Brian Shaw. Oh. Just doing some arm wrestling with this man. Oh, there you go. <laughs> the number one arm wrestler, super heavyweight arm wrestler in the UK. Mindus Dolskus is an absolute beast. The man just makes me look crap <laughs> but he said i'm getting better so that's like me happy that's nice yeah oh week. honestly if he has a good night at arm wrestling on a sunday he practically skips through yeah. the door afterwards careful yeah. she's near that lamp um i'm guessing if you're into arm wrestling go and follow mindus because he's an absolute beast he's um, he just beat tim bresnan who's um you know very well known american arm wrestler he's getting better and better all the time and yeah i think he's like a few times british champion now hmm. Um, Hi. <laughs> um, Paddy Haynes is in the house. Ah, oh, hey Paddy. He had there his comp go. today. That was the the comp that my athletes were competing at. Oh, there you go. I um, hope it went well, Paddy. Uh, uh, so this is what happened to Andy Black. He is training hard for Scotland's Strongest Man currently. Yes, he He's is. Yeah. Back so training. He took some time off. Um, yeah, he took some time off and he's back training now. So it'd be interesting to see what he can do. Sorry, she's moving our light now. <laughs> Put some treats in there for her. And um, yeah, so we're going to have to move her to the puppy proofed kitchen. Sorry. Bye, honey. Bye. <laughs> oh, dear. How many spots are left? Officially one, unofficially two, but. Um, yeah, hopefully no more changes, two announcements this week, and then uh, back to business. Where are we? Neil Pickup's in the um, chat, Lozzo. Listening in when I have a shower. Oh, <laughs> as discussed at Giants, hope you're both well. Loz and Lizzie, Lozzy, stay strong, be stoic. There you go. Um, very good job last night, I thought, Neil. I was um, saying to you, wasn't I, Lozzy? Neil was a really good announcer, like really good hype man. For, that was awesome. Yeah, especially 
for a walkout. I do love it. I want I want to be introduced by Neil at some point. <laughs> anyway, Neil, you're gonna to have to come please, to Liz Shannon. The strongest <laughs> man and um <laughs> and announce me. Liz. Just just me though. I hope you you'll recover from yesterday. It looked like an epic event. Oh. <laughs> She's back. <laughs> I thought you were shattering. No, I should cry if I shut her in. Yeah, she will. Um, what is the status of the strong man from Greenland who lost coach? So that's uh, Lynn. Not Lynn. No, Kim. Kim. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of Lynn Morehouse. So reason. Kim injured himself last year and um, he's... Holly, come here. <laughs> Not that. Um, he is back training hard. He, he's training hard. Um, he actually messaged me a few months ago about potentially coaching him again. So it would be a pleasure to work with him again. Uh, he's a lovely guy and uh, it would be good to see him back competing. Grizzly is a reserve, says Carl. <laughs> <laughs> is Mitch done with prep? Asked Bronchot. Uh, no, he's still got a couple of lighter sessions left, but <laughs> the heavy stuff has all been done. No. Her. Can you see what Mitch said? <laughs> <laughs> you do that, mate. And um, well, I said I'd spank him if he did the 230, and he said that's too much of an incentive to do it. So. I have to think of something else, but <laughs> save it for the damn comp, Mr. Hooper. You're looking very, very strong. We don't want to take any risks now. Get to World's Strongest Man and become the two-time champ. That is the goal. He's looking absolutely in incredible form. It's going to be very difficult for anyone to beat him um, as long as he gets to the comp and doesn't get hurt. Uh, obviously, there's some great ath athletes that will be competing against, but I think for most people, you've got to look and say, right now, Mitch is the number one on the planet. We've we got Bulk. Bulk Brogan, thank you for the super chat. Just finished my first strongman comp. Got a night fight of 26 and hit 30 kilo or with, oh, PB <laughs> with a 245 kilo deadlift. Also won the weight over the bar. Fantastic oh, stuff. Well done. well done, buddy. There's nothing better than going to a competition and smashing some PBs and just having an amazing day. Just being happy with how you performed. Um, how would Lars do on Brian's dumbbells? Uh, just the lifting them. Um, yeah, not too bad. I'm not I've, I, I, probably not as good as Brian. Brian's very good at thick bar stuff. He's got a massive hand, but I, I'm, I'm I could hold my own. I'm, I'm better than a lot of the current strongmen on that type of thing. Mm. Um, Liz and Lars red dwarf dwarf watchalongs. There you go. <laughs> Maybe, maybe Listen. if we tire of strongman, we'll just do <laughs> show watch alongs instead. <laughs> uh, where are we? People saying hi to Neil. Well, it was a centaur computer. <laughs> RIP Devin Larrett. Like just for the people that don't watch arm wrestling, watch arm wrestling. He's obviously not dead, um, but he he lost to Levan yesterday. Um, what's this? From Chase Drums, I will keep an eye out for your comment in the chat. It's not attached to your super chat, unfortunately. Uh, World's Strongest Man's lives with Holly will be hilarious. Liz will be running around chasing the pup for hours. Oh, don't. It's just, this is like her normal witching hour. She's been getting better. Normally, she's she not so has. bad. Yeah. Last few weeks. Yeah. I think we just, we were in a bit of a rush. So, because, you know, what dogs are like, they feed off your energy. So, because we were rushing, she started rushing. And, yeah, mm. the rest is history. <laughs> she's been good, though, hasn't she? She's settled in she's really, well. really well. She's doing really well. Yeah. She's barely having any accidents anymore. She knows sit, come, down, and... <laughs> but, but no she's good she's really friendly with other dogs really friendly with people she's lovely she's perfect if england's strongest was a giant's life how come the podium didn't get an invite i take you mean how come the podium didn't get an invite to world's strongest man um england's strongest man was like a satellite giant's live show so it wasn't one of their official Giants Life qualifiers. Mm. England's Strongest Man was not a TV um, show. It was a qualifier. It was for a qualifier Britain's to get man. to Britain's Strongest Man, which so, is a qualifier for Worlds. Yeah. Yeah. So it was a Giants Life show, but it wasn't one of their premier shows, if you like. Yeah. Uh, Rano is the funniest. Rano. Sven, Sven Carlson was funny. That's true. Yeah. Jean Paul was very funny as well. Very. Jean Paul was just. A, he was saying, a, "Come on, Pa has to be the funniest." I was watching. Pa's some very of, funny. I was watching. Some I love of the stuff that Pa's doing right now. Yeah. I think it's pretty cool. What do you say to me? Yeah, that's Benedict Magnuson. <laughs> Benny was very funny. I share a birthday with Benny. You do indeed. Yeah. 
It's a few years old. Benny <laughs> really kind of freaked out. One of, freaked out one of my friends. Oh, something's gone under the. She's lost something under the sofa. She doesn't like things going on under the sofa because she can't get to them. Uh, pa is very funny, though. You're correct. Um, pa is a child. <laughs> Uh, put your nose. The chunk of mud. Oh, <laughs> what more can you ask for? Rauno is very funny. Um, Mitch is actually funny as well. Mitch? Nah, yeah. Mitch is boring. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jane is like you. She doesn't like the arm wrestling. Ah, well. They've had, they even had arm wrestling at World's Strongest Man. So we, we're allowed to talk about it a little bit on here. Yeah. We just. We won't kind of overload. Yeah. Don't wanna I, 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 I've become a right arm wrestling nerd. Every time I see Neil, I'm sort of picking his brain about stuff. I watch all the different promotions. I'm actually going to be doing some commentating for arm wrestling later in the year, yeah. which is cool. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's Yesterday's event was pretty epic. Um. Ah, you two should be proud of the work you've done to bring more eyes to the strongman world. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, kind. love. We just, like, we'd be talking about it anyway, wouldn't we? Me and you. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we may as we well would. talk about it with you guys. <laughs> but no, it's... The, the, the fact is, like, we're both big strongman fans. Uh, obviously, I've spent my life involved in strongman since I was 20 years old. Uh, it's been, you know, a huge part of my life. I, I absolutely love it. And... After it's, retiring, what like it would have been so hard just to yeah. walk away. Wouldn't I, 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 I'll give you guys my opinion. I'm not saying they're the right opinion, but I'll always kind of give an opinion. And um, you know, people can say what they want about me or you, but we're no, very passionate can't. about the sport. You know, and I end up getting into arguments with friends and you know promoters and stuff like that. And it's never like a personal thing, but it's just a passion that I think I think most people want the same thing. I think all of us want the sport to get better just a lot of people have their own way of going about it so sometimes people will clash but as long as the things get bigger and better then we're all good uh strongman historian has said there's another injury that hasn't been announced you don't have to say who but you know who it is yeah I've... we do know who it is i know who it is Loz knows who it is as well Loz is struggling to keep track of what's going on i yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Oh dear, we need a puppy cam. We don't. <laughs> well, puppy cam would be quite hilarious right now. Normally, it'd be pretty boring. <laughs> yeah. Um, she does have like a radar when I've got food, though. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Just like the second you move into the kitchen, she'll move herself so she can see what you're doing. World's Strongest Man Finals VIP tickets sold out. Last year, they didn't sell out until the start of the competition. That's a good sign. Hopefully, like, I, I just really hope it goes really well for Worlds, really well for the fans that are paying to be there, that the Jumbotron works correctly, so people in the fan festival Obviously, get last, to see last it. year, when people were, like, had terrible seats, they, they were standing well, on ladders. No seats, yeah. it, it was a bit of a mess. So hopefully this time the fans really enjoy their experience out there. Mm. Um. Huh. Well, Strongest Man needs to stop concentrating on people streaming their shows and bloody stream it themselves. It's 2024, for heaven's sake, it cuts to the real world. We totally agree with you. Like, we want nothing more than a stream. How much more fun would a watch-along party be than a wait party waiting for information to come in on a spreadsheet? Um, it was... I, I can tell you, they were very close this year, and then one of the broadcasters got cold feet and like shut it down. So it's not happening. This is the closest we've ever been to getting one. I think it's crazy that we don't have one. Like, it's ridiculous. The appetite's there. People are willing to pay if if that's what it takes. You can't even argue that. Oh, it'll affect viewing figures because viewing figures for World's Strongest Man in the UK it's... last year were the best they've been in years. Yeah, and also it's such a it's a casual fan base at Christmas in the UK, especially. Yeah. There are people that just watch it at Christmas. They don't know what's going on throughout the whole year. And I don't think those figures would change at all with a live stream. But there we go. It's very frustrating. Um, what do we got? Joe, thank you for the super chat. Did Mitch see Paul Smith's reply to his comments? I don't know what that 
Oh, is... Paul, Paul Smith put something up on his story about Mitch, and um, I don't think Mitch looks at Paul's stuff, if I'm honest. <laughs> there you go. Hey, look, there's Rano. Hi. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yay, there we go. Team Rano. I mean, Team, team Liz. Team Rano. Team Liz. <laughs> oh, we've got lots of our famous friends in the chat tonight. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, Bulk, thank you for the super chat. Did my first strongman comp yesterday. Hold on a minute. Why are we getting repeat super chats? Know. Is it because we're taking so long to get to them? <laughs> if so, apologies. But yay, well done again. <laughs> oh, what? no, this is a different super chat because he said also won the Highland Games star. Wait a minute. Yeah, he worded amazing. it differently. Thank you very much for the super chat. Yes. We do appreciate Twice. it. Uh, lots of big shots in the chat today. Yeah, all of our famous friends. I've caught the grip bug, but I think it'd be a fair while until I catch the arm wrestling bug. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love some grip stuff as well. Um, I know Paddy loves his grip, so I need to go over to Paddy's gym at some point and um, do some grip stuff with him. Mm. Um, this is becoming quite the meeting place for strongman and strongwoman competitors. It's a hangout chat room. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Hi, Lars. It sucks that we've lost a promising athlete like Shane, but the show rolls on. Look, it sucks seeing athletes get injured, but it doesn't diminish the show that athletes get injured. Everyone's sort of like so narrow-minded in terms of we think about what's happening now, but there's always injuries. Every year, someone's having to pull out. Someone could be, All you can do as an athlete is turn up and beat who's in front of you, and that's what the guys that are going have to focus on. The guys that do get injured – have to focus on recovering mm. and maybe looking at things and thinking what I can do differently to not let that happen in the future. It's it, it sucks, but part of strongman and part of sport is getting to the show. Um, you can be the best athlete in the world in the gym; does not matter. You've got to be able to compete. It's, I, I there's a guy called Tom Havlin who lifts some incredible weights. You know, super strong dude. But until he competes, no one can say he's going to win the world's strongest man because you don't know. He might be terrible at strongman. He might be super slow. He might not be good at competing under pressure. He might not be good in front of performing in front of people. There's so many factors that come into play at being a professional athlete and actually competing. It's not the same as just doing things. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She's getting locked up. <laughs> uh, it's not the same as, as doing things in the, in the gym. That's all I'm saying. You know, I've trained with so many guys that would come down and train with me and beat me week on week out in training and we get to the competition and I beat them on every single event. So being able to perform under pressure, that's not me bigging myself up. It's just an example, you know, being able to perform under pressure like Mitch can, like Tom can, like professional athletes can in different sports, like Zadrunas did many, many times when he had to perform, he just raised his level. And that's so important in terms of being a good competitor. And um, one thing that's quite interesting. So this year, I think we're going to have 11 first timers at World's Strongest Man. In 2016, we had 15 newcomers. And amongst them were Martins, Mateusz, Konstantin Janasha, and Luke Stoltman. So Janasha placed the highest out of Yeah. Th yeah. So three out of four of them made the final with Janasha coming in fourth overall. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's always a shame when we don't have our favorites compete, but at the same time, it does it's, give us yeah, that opportunity. 2005 to... was a great opportunity for new athletes. Come. Yeah. Terry Holland's kind of came through that. We also have 15 new guys in yeah, uh, that so, year as well. But, but... I've got a video coming out about this. Well, I actually haven't even recorded it yet, but I've been putting together lots of facts and stats about the lineup mm. this year, which I don't know about you guys, but I find that sort of thing you, interesting. You love a stat, don't you? Love a stat. Liz's stats. <laughs> Ah, where were we anyway? We we digress. Love a scone. Who doesn't love a scone? Yeah. <laughs> scone or Pat? scone? What do you think? Scone. Scone. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the super chat. One day we will get a time machine and transport Mitch, Tom, and Kazmaier to the 2011 to 2016 World's Strongest Man era just for fun. The most I, difficult era. I would happily agree with that. That was a tough era. It was a tough era. Yeah, it was oh, a tough I, I, era. It genuinely was. People yeah. kind of, you know, you go back and watch those comps. Look at the weights the guys were lifting. Look at the performances that the guys were, were doing. And, um, yeah, I was stuck in that era. We <laughs> were stuck in that era. It was very difficult. Um, <laughs> everyone arguing on who's the funniest. The real question is, what color is the aeroplane? 
Uh, Zadrunas yeah, so, Zadrunas has a Zydrunas great sense of humour a very yeah. dry sense of humour yeah. he is a funny man most of the guys from that region do have a dry sense of humour and that's yeah. what I enjoy Rasmus thank you for the super chat hello as my training goes on I feel my lower back is killing my gains shoulder pressing squats deadlifting and so on is hard on the back what's your suggestion for getting around this issue without seeing kind of the lifts it's difficult to kind of um, to comment um, but you need to look at kind of form firstly uh the lower back takes a beating doing strongman anyway you know i i can people kind of think sometimes oh you should be able to lift pain-free or you should be able to like lift pain-free like all the time if you want to just train i would 100 percent agree with that if you want to be a professional athlete or be the best at anything any sport you are going to be in pain it's just something that you've got to accept i don't know any top level athlete that isn't in some kind of discomfort mm. that's not to say you should be in it all the time and like every single thing should hurt but you're gonna have to realize that one thing that makes you separate yourself from the average guy is being able to cope with discomfort and a lot of events in strongman suck if you think you're in a competition where you've got deadlift for reps some kind of awful carry for distance then you're doing like uh, i don't know like power stairs or something like that and at the stone for reps a sandbag to shoulder all brutal events that are going to tax your lower back and you'll get to the point in the comp where you're in agony the other guy is in agony you've just got to be tougher than the next guy you've got to be willing to push yourself that little bit harder and um you know, it's it's not to say you do that every single training session, but you've got to be able to to dig deep when it counts. Um, so don't think it's kind of wrong to be in pain um, if you're looking to be the absolute best. I've had so many sessions where I'm literally on the floor dying at the end of it. You know, absolutely. I remember doing a really tough set of 20 rep squats. I think I just let down on the floor for 20 minutes afterwards. Mm -hmm. And if you just want to train and get a bit stronger, you don't need to be doing that kind of stuff. But if you want to be one of the absolute best in the world, do not think it's going to be easy. I think too many people think, oh, yeah, I want to be the world's strongest man, and just think, oh, yeah, it's, it's easy. Go and watch how hard some of the top guys oh. train. I'm not talking about just the weight that they lift, but watch how hard they train. I train harder than 99% of people that I've met. And – you know, people that I coach, I coach a lot of, of different athletes. There's not many I can kind of honestly say that I think train harder than I can. And I'm a retired strong man that just loves training. You come and do like a leg session with me and my training partners. It's brutal. Mm. And sometimes it's good to see that. So you kind of think, I just need to work a bit harder. Um, now I'm curious, how did Benny freak out your mate? <laughs> come. What come. did you say to him? I'm going to do the exact thing that he so, did. This is Europe's Strongest Man. Europe's Strongest Man many moons ago. Um, my friend came to watch, and he ends up in the lift with Benedict Magnuson, mm -hmm. just the two of them. And he never met Benny before. And I, I know Benny. He's 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 a funny guy. Likes to make people feel uncomfortable. Yeah, he does. <laughs> my friend's like, oh, you know, how, how are you feeling today? Hope you're, hope you're okay. And Benny just goes, horny. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? He freaked me out in the lift. That's very same year. I think it was two thousand. Did he say the same thing to you? God no, <laughs> no, no. But I was just in the lift, and he walked in, and I sort of smiled and nodded at him. I knew who he was, and um, he, he sort of nodded, and then he turned to face the door. So he had his back to me, and then suddenly he whipped around and he went, "I know you." <laughs> like that. And I was like, "Ooh," but um, Benny is a funny guy. Yes. Cousin Fred, Liz, how is training going? Not as well as I would like, if I'm totally honest, Fred. I've really struggled these last few weeks. Alexa was sick for a week and a half over Easter, which sucked. Before that, getting the puppy and not really being able to leave her on her own. So time has been limited. But um, after Worlds, definitely, I will have a lot more time. Like We've got a lot of filming planned these ne the next two weeks. Yeah, the next two weeks are going to be very busy, obviously. Yeah, um, so it's going to be tricky. But um, then afterwards, we've got a little bit of a hiatus, haven't we? Like not too much going on. So it would be a good time to knuckle down and uh, get and maybe maybe some members videos of training. Who was it you were going to get me to train with and film? Uh, I can't remember few of them, I mean, Yeah, last cycle, make a whole series. I was like, oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> 
Boston. <laughs> this world's strongest man seems cursed. Uh, so many injuries and no updates from the organizers. I said that the other day to you, didn't I, Lasso? We've seen it before. The, the, yeah. the, the, they've been better the last week. The the lack of kind of promotion was starting to annoy me, but they have been better this last mm. week. We're starting to see more hype and, and things. There's the man. Ah, there he is, bless him. Um, before we get to him, hi, Coach Loz and Liz. Always a pleasure to watch. Thank you, George. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for being a member for 12 months. Uh, there's Shane, bless him. Everyone's here tonight. Hope you're you doing, doing okay, Shane. Uh, do you know what, though? Like, one nice thing, I'll have Shane to chat to during words. We had a good old chat, like, <laughs> sharing good information last year. Yeah, yeah, I like chatting to Shane. He's a really good guy, and he's funny as well. Um, where are we? Spreadsheet party is the goat. Brontop loves the spreadsheet party. He even said, do you know what? I don't mind this no live stream. I actually <laughs> really enjoy the spreadsheets. It's, it's, there is something kind of fun about it, just waiting for results. It to is come exciting. In. I mean, it's ridiculous yeah. that we're 2024 and we're doing it, but I, I understand what he's saying. He's got like Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> <laughs> the spreadsheets <laughs> been conditioned to think it's okay it's not okay <laughs> uh i'm all good excited for the next challenge uh good attitude that's good uh well strongest man last year was awful in real life but i was front row for king crab was amazing oh uh, that was a moment i was watching it on phone screen like Oh, right. Okay. Tom's put it down. Mitch is miles away. Oh my God. He's still going. He's still going. He's still going. And that's what I mean when I say you've just got to dig deep sometimes, mm. you know, that's what makes people like Mitch good. Yes. He's physically gifted and stuff like that, but sometimes you've just got to want it. And that showed it in that particular moment. He just yeah. dug as deep as he could and did enough. Mm. Oh, Lars, we're going to get our annual pre-World Strongest Man interview and analysis of Jeff Karan. That I'll would to, be nice. Have to ping him a message and yeah. see if he's up for it. See if he's available. That would be really nice. I am. Um, I always enjoy listening to JF. Um, I like talking to JF. He's just no nonsense. Yeah. Hopefully Rongo will join us now. Yeah, it would be nice to have Rongo in the chat as well. Uh, speaking from first-hand experience, I can attest to the fact that Loz is extremely passionate about Strongman, and in terms of knowledge, the man's like a walking encyclopedia. Hashtag Lizzie Loz loves arm wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Loz definitely does. Lizzie, we're, 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 we're convincing. I don't to... mind arm wrestling. I do not like the arm wrestling training videos of someone going, on my TV. <laughs> or, or Neil pick up on your TV when I have him I on there. I don't mind Neil. <laughs> Some of the live streams are long. <laughs> and I don't like waiting half an hour for people to set up and then go to the strap. I, I, I will say that. I really, I, I really enjoyed some of the matches yesterday. I did think it went on a bit long. I'm sure, Neil, you were there for six and a half, seven hours. It, it must have been brutal. Um, but obviously there were some incredible matches in that time. It just, I, I think sometimes maybe less is more. Yeah. I think maybe eight super matches would be more palatable for people to watch. Yeah. Um, you know, and I think probably even hardcore arm wrestling fans will say the same. I it's it's just a lot to sit through yeah. 14 matches, six and a half hours. And the press I was, conference was I was fresh as a well. daisy starting it. And then you started yeah. getting, like by he was like, we're gonna have to take my by some of the bed. big matches, you you're you're just like exhausted. Yeah. But um yeah, I I I you know I've I've paid to watch so many arm wrestling events now. Uh, events that people won't even know of. I was, <laughs> I was watching Bristol versus um, Birmingham earlier on a live stream. <laughs> Just the clubs. That's <laughs> too much. See? See what I'm having to live through. Uh, cousin Fred, thank you for the super chat. Davis Ugoas? Oh, I don't know. I'm good. It's someone he's talking is to. an athlete. In your prime, you had an elite, an, an elite deadlift overhead, and you were elite of elite at moving events. What then stopped you from being that top three in the world? What was missing? Is he talking about me? Yeah. Uh, I was competing against Adrenus and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, and Thor. And Thor. Yeah. Um, Mike Jenkins. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't good at Atlas Stones. I wasn't terrible at them, but I wasn't, it wasn't a banker event for me. Um, my throwing wasn't particularly good either. I had events that if in the right, the right competition, I, I could be anyone at the world at. What I wasn't 
good enough at was being all round. And I would put, uh, like, I put JF in the same category as myself. Uh, maybe JF's a little bit better, actually. But someone that can do very, very well with the right events, but we had a few weaknesses. Mm. And I guess the difference when you look at a Zadrunas, a Brian, a Marius Pudjanowski, a Mitch Hooper, you know, those guys that you kind of, they are... They just don't they have, don't have yeah. a weakness. Mm -hmm. And I did. I had a couple of weaknesses at that level. People make the mistake sometimes of thinking, oh, yeah, that guy's not very good when they see him at World's Strongest Man. Go to a lower level competition. I was kicking guys' asses on events they thought they'd beat me on. Mm -hmm. But when you were up against Brian Shaw, Thor Bjornsson, and I don't know, like um, Zadrunas on certain events, they're just very, very difficult to beat. Mm -hmm. Um, this is nice from Chris. Hi, Loz and Liz. Watched for a long time, but not made a YouTube account. And oh no, but now made a YouTube account and finally subscribed. Chris and Amy checking in for Strongman Sunday. Thank uh, you thank very you for much for us. subscribing. And you know what, guys? If you guys can subscribe to the channel, it, it's huge for us. The, the more subscribers we have, it looks better towards sponsors and helps with all the algorithms and stuff like that. Just liking videos, commenting, subscribing it means a lot to us. <laughs> there scone rhymes with gone it clearly doesn't <laughs> scone ah <laughs> uh, i love these types of arguments <laughs> is it a north and south divide i'm not sure i don't know anyone in wiltshire that says scone no i don't know maybe i just don't really talk about scones <laughs> is it book or book it's book <laughs> It would sound it very cook, odd if I said cook or, or kook. kook. <laughs> You're a kook. Oh, That's the funny thing in the UK. You just go a small drive, like drive an hour somewhere. The, the accent changes Drive completely. half an hour from here to Bristol, and all of a sudden, it's it's very different, I think. Ah, where are we? <laughs> Shame flowers. Well, oh, no, I won't say. <laughs> I won't read that out loud. Liz, what strongman athlete would you date if you never met Lars? None of them. <laughs> I know too much. I've seen too much. I've heard too much. <laughs> Not so if, if I was at the picture, you wouldn't get with another strongman? No. Interesting. No, I'd have my own strongman channel and I'd be um, a crazy... Wow, I, once upon a time I would have said I'd been a crazy cat lady. No, I'd probably marry for money at this point in my life, to be honest. <laughs> Married for love once. <laughs> <laughs> marry for money now. Next I'll marry for money, yeah, and just live the life that I want to live. <laughs> I'll have, finally have my travel YouTube channel. There you go. You can all subscribe. Thank yes. you. Yes. Chris, thank you for the super chat. Maybe Lucas Hatton can go to Worlds in Shane's place. So we, we said earlier, Lucas did get invited to World's Strongest Man eventually. Uh, I say eventually because it was late. Um, it was late, yeah. And um, he turned down the invitation. He's got a lot going on didn't have time to prep. He's running a competition, the Arena Classic, and he has a gym to run as well. So he just couldn't get someone to cover all that. Plus, I feel he wants to, you know, he, he's a great athlete and he wants to come into World's Strongest Man as well prepared as possible. Mm. <laughs> Randy here. Liz, you could quit your job and concentrate on your training. Loz can handle it all. <laughs> Would you mind picking up the YouTube Slack and stuff like that, babe? I'd be useless. Yeah. And I'm not afraid to admit it. But it would be fun to see what you... We should do one for members, a film, a, a video filmed and edited by you. <laughs> Just for like, members. <laughs> this is genuine. If it was up to me, our channel would be like Devon's. Devon has a very successful channel. Yes, I fair. know, but that's because of him, not that's because of the, <laughs> no. the channel. It would just be like me in front of a camera, that'll do, I'm going to yeah, upload it. It would be, uh, yeah, no thumbnail in your case. <laughs> Um, I would use the AI thumbnails. Oh, God, she's farted. Can you smell it? I can't, and it wasn't me. No, I know no, it's not. I know. know it's not my I, scent. I, no, no, that's <laughs> definitely her. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Bo, with the members comment here? Hello, everyone. Here's to a speedy recovery, Shane. Ah, nice to see Shane getting some love in the chat. What's now saying? Mitch is a magnificent example of going to the red line to succeed. Watching him do max log last year, bent double under a 200 kilo log was oh, sketchy. <laughs> Just to watch. Champion for a reason. Yes. Chosen being, one. Being able to push yourself to those extreme levels and uh, under pressure. You know, you get you get so many people which will criticize an athlete for doing that. That's not safe. That's, you know, that's stupid. They don't care. They're there to win. 
The athletes yeah. will go to extremes. You know, Devon is a great example of an arm wrestler. He got his bicep snapped against Levin in their first match. You, you commit and, and you put your whole body on the line when you do these sports. Mm-hmm. If when you sit down and think about it, it's bloody stupid. But it's how passionate they are and it's how determined they are to win. It's, um, it's not something that anyone can do. That, that mentality is not for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Is a member's comment here from uh, Haynes, sir. Icelanders uh, horny when we really want something. Oh, oh we right. use horny, the word horny. Okay. <laughs> All right. So does that apply across? But amongst I mean, I, I'm sure it does. But, you know, he was living in the UK <laughs> at the time and he knew exactly what he was saying. I was going to say, <laughs> with Benny, <laughs> I'd be willing to bet it was quite specific. It meant exactly what he meant it to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fred, thank you so much for gifting more memberships. Always very generous, bless you. And we've got a couple of people here sharing their thoughts on spreadsheets. So I use spreadsheets for all the comps. Actually, watching it doesn't give me that same rush that refreshing the spreadsheet does. <laughs> so, do you know what? I get it. I do get it. Like, I have more fun with you guys refreshing a spreadsheet we, than we I do watching a we show. We genuinely love sort of our, our live kind of... Parties. Wait parties and uh, you can't even call them a watch party, can we? It's no, it's a wait a, party. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. Made the mistake of once calling one a watch party. People are like, well, where is it? And I was like, no, no. Change the thumbnail to a wait party. The sh- spreadsheet parties are like listening to the radio, but with faces. There is personality, intention, just no images of the actual contest. Yeah, I guess it's like um radio commentary, isn't it? There you go. Why are you? <laughs> Loss is uh, showing me sneaky things on his phone. Very off-putting. <laughs> I have a King Crab t-shirt, says Jane. <laughs> oh, dear. Big love, Shane. Hope for a fast recovery. We've got here. Joe, thank you for the super chat. Training approach with nagging pain like... SI joint. SI joint. One for you, dear. Um, <laughs> you got to manage your body best you can. Like, I never took time off the gym. Ever. I just figured out a way around things. And sometimes you, you, it's the best thing you can do is to keep training, but obviously don't do things that are going to aggravate the, the SI joint. So you tr- try and get blood flow through the body. That's always beneficial in terms of rehab. But um, don't stop training. Because if you stop training, you set yourself back massively. You can always train around things. And that's what I try and do when I'm coaching people, when I'm injured myself. You know, if you just, if you tear a bicep, for instance, let's use Shane as an example, that doesn't mean you stop training. You're going to focus on lower body stuff. Sure, you're not going to do too much on the upper body. Um, you can work on different areas. You can fo- focus on maybe body recomp for a little bit. You can focus on core strength. You can focus on leg strength. Um, and now there's more options. I mean, when I tore my bicep, I did loads and loads of hip belt squats. Mm. Now there's there's lots more sort of bars that are useful, like a safety bar or a spider bar. They can be pretty good with a, a bicep issue. Um, there's lots of machines in gyms. You can kind of still work really hard, keep training, and keep yourself strong so that your recovery is much faster in terms of getting back to shape. Um, and as I said, blood flow is massively underused in terms of a healing process um so training is actually beneficial i think most experts would say would say the same thing just resting completely is not going to benefit you in terms of progress and there are you know i've got a couple of issues that probably will never be fixed but if i stopped training the muscles around those joints would become weaker and then i'd have even more problems so actually keeping some strength in the muscles keeping the the joints protected if you like can actually help you in the long run um question here people always talk about the best deadlifters presses etc but who would you consider to be among the best of all time at farmers loading conans and of course coal shoveling uh farmers Marius Pujanowski was extremely good. Um, Kiriaskowski, extremely good. Mm-hmm. Um, I was pretty good. Um, Mark Felix, Terry. Uh, who else was really good? The farmers. Yeah. Murumets. There's a guy called, oh, yeah. um, what's his name? Vids, Vids. No. <laughs> 
I don't know. Yeah. I know his surname was Muramets. Yeah. Anders. Anders Muramets. Anders Muramets. Yeah, he was very, very Amos. good at farmers. Yeah. Um, loading. Loading Marius Pujanowski is massively up there. He, he was just yeah. rapidly quick. A um, couple of other guys that are really fast as well, but he sort of really stands out. And I'd say Komen's as well. I'd pick Marius Pujanowski. That Marius guy was really unbelievable at Komen's yeah. circle. Coal shoveling. Now, there's an event. That uh, is an event that would. I can't remember who won it. I'm trying to think. Probably Jean Paul. <laughs> It wasn't, Jean Paul didn't do it. Did he not? No, no. But I just remember towards the last two guys, there was far less gravel available. <laughs> it was such a disaster for the event. <laughs> oh, God. How did that one ever get signed off? But it's fun. Where are we? You know, like when we talk about farmers as a, as a good example, Zadrinus wasn't always great at farmers, but when he had to be, the guy won the farmers, yeah. <laughs> you know, and that's what I say about like the real greats. Mm -hmm. When they have to perform, they can. And I think you know Mitch is in that kind of category now that we saw at the Arnolds. When he has to get points, he's you know he's got to do well. He he does whatever he needs to do. He he'll carry those dinny stones as far as possible. When he'd already won the competition, then he can't load the stone. Yeah. And I guarantee, if he had to load that stone to win, he would have loaded the stone. Yeah. Uh, to shoulder it, it, it's just an ability that they have that not everyone has just that can dig that bit deeper when they have to um hey guys do you think mitch can beat tom on stones asked no David. no i don't not without a bit of luck um you know if they ran stones 10 times in a row the likelihood is that tom wins 10 times in a row maybe tom makes a mistake um and i think mitch probably accepts that as well but the thing for Mitch is there's a lot more events than just stones in a competition. And when I look at the events for Worlds this year, particularly the final events, I think there's one event that Tom definitely wins. There's another event that could be close. And then I think there's four events that Mitch wins. Mm. That's my personal opinion. Um, you know, I've given you a nice opinion then on the stones. I'm not kind of being biased. It's just what I think when I look at the events. Now, the fact is, Mitch might get lucky and beat Tom on the stones. You know, things can happen. People can make mistakes. We've seen it before. Um, you know, random things happen in competitions. Athletes can get injured. They're, 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 anything can happen. Nothing is a guarantee. But if we go on percentages and, and what we kind of see time and time again, and you look at the kind of shape that people are in, the reality is Tom being in shape on stones, Mitch isn't beating him on stones. Who is, to be fair? Not many guys. Liz, how about an arm wrestler? No, no, thank you. Maybe like someone into hedge funds, something like that. <laughs> a banker. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no. Elpres Cat, thank you for the super chat. Loss is world's strongest man. Farmers, car walk, yoke, deadlift, squat. I'd like that. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I mean, throwing a, a forward facing Viking press uh, or an axle for Max, I was pretty good at in my prime. Um, what else was I good at? any type of grip event mm. i mean you don't need car walk and yoke that's a bit much <laughs> i'm not that desperate so... <laughs> frame carry <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, truck pool i was pretty good at mm. east versus west 12 was a great event but i agree it was push punishing in terms of the length of time i had a banging headache at the I end of the night did, mate. eight matches would be spot on i reckon yeah and i think it's just you know we're always looking to make things better and i think um you know strong man we're looking at getting things better arm wrestling they're all we're we're similar sports and yeah i think we've always got to kind of tweak things and improve all the time Loz, would your life be different now if you want to wear strongest man title it's 10 years ago i don't think i'd be that much different probably slightly better now perhaps no. um you would be more well known especially yeah, if, but if I don't you think, went on to I, I do the same thing i don't think it would have changed my life that much like and i i guess i look back now and that's why i'm sort of like, you're never satisfied you're always going to be disappointed that you didn't do better but i've been able to look back and be proud of what i've achieved i won a european title i won a world title i won multiple british titles i broke records i beat pretty much everyone there is to beat at the time um so i'm proud of what i've achieved and other than maybe being a little bit better known, I don't think my life would be that much different. No, I don't think because so. Because the main thing is you weren't utilised in social media back then. No. And I think that's so important because you can go and win a huge competition, but 
then do nothing with it. The reality is I am better known than a lot of former winners of World's Strongest Man. Yeah, Because I'm involved in the sport still. Obviously, we we push social media in terms of YouTube and stuff. Um, I could probably push it a lot harder if I was smart, but I'm happy with my life. I enjoy what I do. The balance of it, yeah. Um, So I don't think my life would be that different other than perhaps, you know, having a a few more followers. (laughs) But honestly, I'm pretty happy with where I'm at. Be honest, is beans on toast actually good? I don't mm. like it. Beans on toast is average. I never eat it. We never eat beans on toast. No, never. Beans on toast with a whole f- cooked breakfast. Yeah, that's added different. To it, much, yeah, much better. Yeah, but not on its own. I can't remember the last time I would have had beans on toast as a meal. No. I mean, I've done two weeks now where I haven't had a single cheap meal. Do you know what? Super we, proud. We all went out with the family cream. today. They all had these really nice ice creams, and I'm sat there. With my bottle of water. Even Holly had a doggy ice cream. Holly had a doggy ice cream. (laughs) And I'm just like, okay, we need to go home and I have my meal now. (laughs) I'm trying to get in shape for when we go on holiday later in the year. That's the the goal. Liz can now blame all of her farts on the dog. (laughs) What on earth? Liz and Loz, what's your favourite takeout uh, or go out for meal? I really enjoy Lebanese or Turkish type food. Mm, I do too, yeah. Yeah, Middle Eastern food. Mm as a whole that sort of region is my favorite type of food um i feel like i can't ignore neil (laughs) 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 was talking with krill someone russian (laughs) bench press monster do you want me to yeah and he's absolutely massive we'd love to see him take uh train strongman so train seriously for strongman. I mean, yes, Kuro is a former bench press world record holder, and he's an absolute beast. And he's getting into arm wrestling. I see he's doing quite a bit of arm wrestling, but he would be an amazing strongman if he took it seriously. Big deadlift. I've seen him do. Um, just a big strong dude. Very very good athlete. Yeah. Uh, last year when Tom lifted the 132 kilo dumbbell, the comment section went nuts. It was amazing. Do you know what? It is so much fun. And I've got so many, like, I would love to actually go back and watch some of those lives one day. I've never gone back and rewatched them, but there's so many special moments. I remember us being in tears when Tom first won, yeah. when Mitch won last year. Um the absolute drama of Rauno on the stone off with Brian. Like there's been so many good fun mem- and fond memories yeah. from our lives. So we do enjoy them. They are exhausting though. And like um, Neil said about his banging headache, yeah. we have banging yeah. headaches by the end of the day. And the thing we? is like, I love Strongman and I'm going to watch World's Strongest Man. It doesn't mean I don't love watching the Shaw Classic. It doesn't mean I don't no, love exactly. watching the Rogue Invitational. I want Strongman to get bigger and better in every aspect. And I get frustrated with World's Strongest Man, which most of you guys know, um, because I want it to be better. I think most of us do. Yeah. But I still support it and I still, you know, I'm still going to watch it and, 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 push it and try and help the athletes you know i've got three athletes that want to do um talking strongman with me this week so i want to try and get those out before worlds um just love the sport don't we Mm. uh chris thank you very much for becoming a member of the channel Uh, would liz and Lars choose business class uh, air tickets to america and a standard hotel room or economy class air tickets and a massive penthouse oh Business class seats and standard room all the way. Yeah. Like, yeah. We're so my whole career, I was always economy. Um, you know, I flew everywhere economy because basically I was broke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Doing strongman. And being my size, it's so uncomfortable. Mm. Like, you just, you know, I, I look, <laughs> I, I see some of these, you know, fat people that complain that the plane sizes that the the flight the the chairs aren't big enough for them i chose to do strongman i chose to be this big it's my fault and you know if i can afford to to get an upgrade and get a nicer seat then i'm gonna do that because i don't you know i don't feel it's the plane's responsibility you know i've been in economy seats and i'm kind of like you know against the window trying to stay out the way or i'll have an aisle seat so i can kind of stick out the side i try and not infringe on the people next to me um, so it's me. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it never it didn't used to be. <laughs> no. Do you know one of the funny things? I remember getting on a few planes where I knew there was a few of us on. Yeah. And you can see the fear in people's eyes when you're <laughs> walking down, and you'll sit. I'll, I'll sit next to some person, and the first thing I'd say to them is like, "In a minute, you'll be glad it's me," because mm-hmm. <laughs> suddenly you've got like Brian or Zadrunas that are like even bigger coming yeah. on. 
Um, so it's never nice to to be uncomfortable on a plane, especially a long flight. So, yeah, it is nice to travel in um, a more comfortable seat, definitely. Yeah, and when we go, like, if we're going on a holiday where we're going to actually spend a lot of time at the hotel, we'll splash out on both. <laughs> but when we go to an event, like, we don't really care so much about the room, do we? I've stayed Once in. It's got a bed you know, and hostels yeah. and all sorts no, I for strong men. But <laughs> yeah, if, it depends if it's business or pleasure. Yeah, but like, what well, if if we go on my career? Nine times out of ten, it was it was business because you're there to, to do a job. Yes, yeah, and I was broke at the time, so you, yeah. you, you're going to make the the cheapest option <laughs> available. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like, so we paid to go to the Arnold's this year, um, business class flight, cheap hotel room. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. we're not in the hotel room. No. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We just need to be near the action. Sure. So yeah. Um. I don't, John Paul did win the gravel shovel. Oh, Pardon so. me. I Terrible so. laps there. Um, first time catching you guys live. Hello, Rick. It's because we've been going on for an hour and 20 minutes now. Everyone's had a chance to catch us. What world title did you win? Asked Malcolm. I won the Ultimate Strongman World Championships. In 2016. Uh, Beat some good guys in that comp. <laughs> Alex, using his members' comment to say, beans on toast is fantastic. This is slander. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> Do you know what? I also, I don't dislike beans. Look, I really like beans. I there's nothing like wrong with beans on toast. <laughs> but there's plenty of things I choose above beans on toast. I would rather just have the toast or cheese on toast, personally. I don't know why I don't like the combination of the bean on the toast. But there we are. And maybe I don't like I'd rather have toast. like a jacket potato with beans. Yes, and, and some cheese. I would prefer mm. that. A nice salted, mm. buttery jacket potato. Here we go. Now we're talking. Mm. Dylan, thank you for becoming a member. Uh, um, <laughs> Joe says beans on toast is elite. Elite. No. I disagree. Yeah, <laughs> I strongly disagree. <laughs> elite. If you're fully skint or if you're ill. Yes. Yeah. Beans on toast is nothing to deserve the slander. A huge part of British culture. You've insulted that. Wow. <laughs> well, Liz is usually insulting everyone. So. <laughs> yeah. Austin, thank you for becoming a member. Oh, I'm coming for your food now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the problem as well, Liam. My seat was upgraded for one flight and I haven't been able to go back to the economy since. It's very, very, very hard to turn right after you we, used we, to turn we, in we, left. We've flown economy a number of times oh loads and loads of times we don't yeah. what we tr what we try and do is usually book premium economy and then use points to upgrade to upgrade yeah. closer to the time yeah you've got to time it right i will literally check every single day but you've also got to be smart with how you and if you do travel a lot stuff. try to get air miles it, yeah. it can be quite beneficial mm -hmm. um did you see the art strong man archive is down apparently it's back up now I haven't verified that yet, but should be back up and running. Right. Beans on toast with cheese. How did this happen? I remember curried beans on toast. Results curry were a bit beans. devastating though. Ooh, mm. I can imagine. <laughs> beans on toast are all right, but it's best effort reward ratio foods. I do not understand the obsession with beans. <laughs> there you go. Shall we Beer call it toast. a night there? Beer yeah, on I toast. think. <laughs> we've developed okay Dom so is after the beer on toast there we go. <laughs> we've got lots and lots of videos planned this week so lots of announcements coming up from worlds to look forward to we can have a bash at putting our groups together because those won't officially be announced until all of the athletes have landed past the medicals etc so um yes lots of fun stuff to look forward to before next week's live yeah is it still all about beans on toast no <laughs> there you go Sounds like the equivalent of ramen. Yeah, and it is. It is. It's just that budget meal that you um knock together. There we go. Okay, say so good night then, Lozzy. Thank you. All Take it easy, guys. Us. Go and enjoy your beans on toast, and we'll speak to you <laughs> very, very soon. Thank you for joining us. Take care. The beans on toast killed the live stream. Beans one, Liz zero. <laughs> Bye, Alex. <laughs>